Happy 2021. This is Molly. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As we take a look at the first new moon of the new year, this is the Capricorn new moon happening on January 12th and 13th. Of course, it depends on your time zone. You can see here that on January 13th, it is at exactly midnight Eastern Standard Time. So as always, adjust for your location on the planet. Now, the new moon is where we, of course, begin, initiate, and start something. And this is our first new moon of the new year, and it really activates the year ahead. And if you've been following astrology for a while, or at least throughout 2020, then you may recognize this degree point. Okay, this is 23 degrees of Capricorn, where the moon and the sun are exactly conjunct. And this is where we had the conjunction between Pluto and Saturn in January 2020. So the universe is not playing around and is not kidding when we have now a new moon, new energy, new awareness, higher consciousness coming in at the exact same degree point of the biggest astrology of 2020. Now you also notice here that the sun and the moon are conjunct this Pluto at 24 degrees of Capricorn, 35 minutes. So this is a powerful new beginning point for you based on what has been permanently changed and transformed since January 2020. So in your chart, you're looking at this 23 degree point that's been already working with you. Okay, so this is a new energy coming in that supports the changes and the new direction. But I'm interpreting this conjunction with Pluto is that we have been moving through these really deep changes, right? We've, we know that we see that we feel it. It's been intense. Uh, Pluto is, of course, when things change in a very dramatic, deep way, but it's about our evolution. So we're starting 2021 at a new evolutionary point that recognizes what you have learned. Capricorn is about how far we've come on a journey, what we've achieved, what we've understood, what we've gained, the experiences, the wisdom, the knowledge we've gained, and how we apply it. So this is a new moon of application, where you are meant to apply what you want next into your intentions, and that there could be a surge of higher consciousness and deeper understanding of where you're going and what you want to build next. When we think of Capricorn as the mountain top or the mountain peak, you're also invited to look at how far you've come, what has changed in your life, uh, where you have been through situations, life changes, and experiences that have shown you there's no going back. There's no going back to a previous version of life, a previous version of yourself. There's also no going back to areas that you've really learned, healed, and grown through. So this is where you're meant to honor your own evolutionary journey, where you've really seen perhaps more of who you are. I also feel this strong connection to Pluto as soul contracts. And perhaps there are new energies coming in that have shown you what your soul has been through across many lifetimes. And there's a potential here at this new moon to really have clarity about what you intend for your next voyage, your next uh, ambitious climbing of the next mountain peak. Like there's something here where this is such a powerful, impactful energy that we've already been working with that there's, again, I feel it as like this energy coming in of a higher consciousness that helps you to understand more of even the karma you've been working through, those unresolved karmic stories and energies with other people that you moved through throughout 2020. And now there's an energy here, I feel, of a strong commitment at a soul level that those lessons are complete that you've done what you needed to do, perhaps in this lifetime, to understand your priorities 
and what matters to you now. And there's also the potential for higher levels of personal respect, of self-respect, of like, this is how I'm going to walk in the world because I say so. And that conjunction with Pluto is an amplification of your own sense of integrity, personal power, and what is true for you now. Now, we also have Venus over here in Capricorn, uh, and she is coming in, coming through, and perhaps she can be a very good observer. She's very dignified. She's very professional. She's got her act together. This is a Venus who does not want to waste her time, and she can be very clean cut, if you will, about what she's going to do. And I feel like this Venus in Capricorn is that she's taking herself seriously. She's taking her needs seriously. She's saying, you know, this is what I value right now in my life. This is what I have to focus on. This is what matters to me. And so she's coming up behind these planets in Capricorn and she's helping to rebuild self-love, self-worth, anything that was especially troubling in relationships in 2020, especially during her retrograde and her ongoing conversations with Neptune, where things changed, where relationships ended, there were shifts, there were things that she didn't realize before. Now, she's, she actually has a strengthening here in herself, in her spine, in her sense of self, and in, in what she knows she's worthy of. And, and I would say it's even the energy of requirements, where this Venus in Capricorn can have a higher understanding of what she requires from relationships, but also from herself in a new way. Now you'll notice that she is in a beautiful trine with both Mars, who's at two degrees, almost three degrees of Taurus, and Uranus at uh, six degrees Taurus retrograde. Uranus will be stationing direct uh, about 24, 48 hours after this new moon. This means that when Uranus stations direct, all planets are direct. It, all planets are moving ahead. Now, Uranus and Mars together are very volatile. This is where you could have physical injuries. This is where there can be unexpected chaos, disruptions, anger. Um, this is a very big energy that will need to be worked through consciously, especially in the body. Uh, it can be hard to go slow when these two are together. There can be an ignition, a really strong electrical charge. So make sure and monitor this energy for yourself. But you'll see that these two in Cap, excuse me, in Taurus are making a trine to this Venus in Capricorn. So there's something that's coming together here about what is important to Venus and what she values now, and she's getting support. What's interesting is that Venus is the ruler of Taurus. And so these two planets in her home sign are supporting her in this reprogramming of what matters to you now. A sense of, I just, I don't want that in my life. I don't care about that in my life. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Um, because Mars and Venus are here, that is strong relationship energy. That can be a new relationship. Um, a re relationship changes. This can be something around um, understanding, you know, what you want to create and manifest going forward. Uh, what needs to sh shift and change. I feel like this is very dynamic energy here. And it also relates to more of the story in this chart. Now, one more thing here is that Venus is getting squared by this Chiron at five degrees Aries. So this is where she, she doesn't know if she's worthy. Like there's this part of her, almost okay, I feel it as if you're feeling like you have to do it all on your own, or if you're overly independent, this energy of the square from Chiron to Venus, there's a sense here of, well, you, you can certainly be your own person. You are your own person. But this Venus is getting so much support that she may need to open up and know that she doesn't have to do it all on her own. 
So the other thing that's going on here on this chart that's very big and significant is that as we know, Saturn and Jupiter are now in Aquarius. Now, this is a progression of energies. Astrology is how the energies continue to cycle and spiral. It's the ongoing stories uh, that develop based on the energies. So whatever has been deeply changed for you since Pluto and Saturn were conjunct at this 23 degrees of Capricorn in January of 2020, now this is the fresh start, the building blocks, the understanding of how more of the pieces can come together to support the whole. So what this means is that whatever has permanently changed for you, now there is a big push and even higher intentions coming through around what to do in your life now. And the Aquarius energy is very creative. It is the visionary. It connects you to your dreams, to what you really want. It's, it can be the energy of, of having it all because of how Aquarius can bring together more components of a story. It's like it can bring together things that you really want and have them manifest into your life based on what you've learned, what you've discovered, how you've been maturing through everything. This energy is progressive and it wants you to move forward. And so it's interesting how we have this focus on what has changed in the past 12 months and now keep going keep building, keep dreaming. There's new dreams to be explored. There's new dreams to discover and to build. So there's a hope with this energy. Uh, you'll see how this Mercury is conjunct Jupiter and still conjunct Saturn. And this is the reprogramming in our minds of what's possible. This is a very cerebral energy here. And actually Mercury is going to be in Aquarius until the middle of March. And that's because of the upcoming Mercury retrograde at the end of January that happens in Aquarius. So Mercury is not in the shadow zone yet. There's still new ideas coming through. And then in the Mercury retrograde period, it will be rewired, reprogrammed, reworked. But things are coming through. And I feel like this Mercury has been getting interesting downloads from both Saturn and Jupiter as Mercury made conjunctions there were new ideas coming through, new concepts, new things opening up, even through um, conversations with people. You know, having it, this is the energy of looking up above the crowd. It's sort of that go higher, you know, even go above the clouds, above the crowds, above the clouds, go higher because this Aquarius energy will connect us with new ways of experiencing our lives. And it also can show up as quantum leaps forward, like big energy changes, big dramatic shifts that put you in alignment with your own best possible developments if that's where your mind is allowed to go, if that's something that calls to you. So I feel this is very hopeful now, these energies are being squared by the planets in Taurus here. And that square is building, okay? So we have this Uranus and Mars squaring Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury. Mercury's going to be moving faster, though. But this is a very dynamic conversation, and I feel it as a push. I feel this as a push here where the pressure has been building in something in your life. And January into February is where it is going to burst. You can see how this Jupiter is at five degrees, 36 minutes. It's going to be the first planet to square Uranus here. And there is something that perhaps you want or desire for the future. And if you haven't felt worthy of it, or the Taurus energy is very practical. So it's like, okay, that's what I want. How am I supposed to get there? How do I make that happen? 
And what about all the details in terms of the money, the money I need to do that, or what I want um, in terms of next steps. And so this is actually rewiring a deeper part of us and reconnecting us to if you have the desire for something, if you want it, if it's right for you, if it's in alignment with your highest and best good, do you really have a value system that supports that for yourself? Because that Taurus energy is about what you value. It's our value systems. And often those are unconscious where you think, oh, I'm only worthy of this much money. I'm only worthy of this much energy um, in my relationships or in my heart. Or it's like you, you could have had some limitations in your value systems and this is, and it's being broken up uh, because that Uranus energy it, it comes through and it disrupts things and it changes it. And it says, is this really true for you? So the value systems are being reworked and allowing you to perhaps connect with what you really want in this life and knowing that you're worthy of it. You can have it. You can have it for your life, for your family, for your career, for your friendships, your partnerships, your what, what everything. And that energy is then going to really feel the tension in these Aquarius planets about where you're going next. So value systems are being reworked. They have been reworked uh, for a little while now, at least a year. Uh, actually, Uranus was last at the six degrees, 2019, the middle of 2019. So it's been a good year and a half of this deeper reworking. And now here comes the future. And Aquarius and the future is like, all right, are you ready? Because this is change. It's going to be maybe uncomfortable at times or unexpected. But if you're really committed to your highest and best path and where you want to grow, what you want to do next, this energy, Saturn, Jupiter, and Aquarius are going to help make it real, uh, bring in the people, the resources, the opportunities, the next steps, the developments but again, it can be like this intense pressure internally as parts of us are being reworked at a very deep level so that we can be in alignment with what we want in this lifetime. And I feel like that's also why this new moon is so significant because here we have this new energy coming in that also helps you let go of some of the deeper emotional energies of 2020. So the energy from Capricorn moves into Aquarius, clean start, fresh air, new potentials, new possibilities. And it's like there's room for this the more you let go of, of I'm going to say even the expectations or anything that's lingering from 2020. There's now room to build and make changes. And those changes could be, again, unexpected, big. Um, there's this energy of even a, you know, it's like you're really out of a comfort zone here. But that's where it's exciting. That's where it gets really exciting is when you've left that comfort zone and there's all these new potentials that can open up and move you forward. And it can happen quickly. That's one of the gifts, actually, with this Mars conjunct Uranus, is that it can happen really fast. It's a quantum leap, a timeline change, a shift in life trajectory that's actually in alignment with more of your own dreams. I mean, th this is the, the dreams you have for your life. And we're going to be working with these themes throughout 2021 because Saturn and Uranus are going to make this square three times, uh, the middle of February, middle of June, and the end of December throughout this year. So we're entering a process of really getting clear on the new life and the next steps that we want. And it, it could be very dynamic at times. It could be a lot of shifts and shocks and things that need to change, but there's a reason for it. And I feel like the reason is that because of everything that's cleared out in 2020, um, the, the karma that's ended, the healing that's been done, the soul contracts that are over, the shifts that have happened in you, how you've been permanently changed sets you up 
for this next chapter and for what you want next and where you're going next. So very fascinating chart. Um, it's really cool, you know, to see how these stories unfold. Um, if you are interested in more about the Saturn and Uranus squares, uh, please check out my 2021 Soul Growth Astrology program that talks about the three squares and how they're going to show up for you in your own chart. And that program also goes through all the major astrology of this year. So thank you so much for joining me, my friends. I hope this has been helpful and insightful in terms of what is opening up for you during this very dynamic Capricorn new moon. And I'll be back here soon as we talk about the Leo full moon. So much energy in that Leo full moon. So we're starting 2021 with a huge bang, a lot of inspiration, a lot moving forward. Uh, so ready or not, it's happening now. Thank you so much for your comments, likes, subscribes, and thank you so much for sharing these videos. I'm so glad that they can reach more people and help them on their own path. So I'll see you back here soon, and I hope that this year is off to a very beautiful start for you.